Whether you are using a flagship device or a budget smartphone, you have at least once experienced lags on your phone. And it is not a good feeling, apps takes too much time to open up, sometimes the whole opera system crashes, it is such a mess. Hey guys, it's me Rahul and today I will give you some tips to speed up your Android phone. I'm gonna be starting with a common reason for the lag experiences that is use of crappy apps like battery savers, cleaners, speed boosters and blood payers. I advise you to not use this app, especially cleaners and speed boosters. The main problem with this app is that it runs in the background for no reason and it utilizes a lot of CPU and memory. Another thing is that when you clear up the RAM and open the application that was previously in the background, it needs to be loaded up again because it is not in the RAM right, which will make the phone even slower, so don't do it. And the battery saver apps, they don't do any magic. What all of these battery saver apps do is, they turn down the brightness and disable a bunch of things. Why you need a special app just for that, when you can do that in a matter of seconds or use the battery saver that comes with your phone, that is in your phone as a stock feature. I totally get the reason why some people use Gen Cleaner apps. I use the Gen Cleaning app too, but I don't use an app just for that. You know what I mean? Like find some app that has this as a, as a feature and does not run in the background. I use ES File Explorer, it is my go-to file manager and it has Gen Cleaning feature in it. So all good. Bloodware is another problem. To get rid of the apps that were in your phone since the start, you need root access. If you do, use this app system app remover and get rid of the useless bloodwares. And if you don't have root access, force stop those applications that might help a little bit. The next one is kind of obvious. The reason why the UI seems so laggy is when your phone has to do more than it is capable of. So we will try to make the phone do less things. So one of the things that we can do is reduce the animations. Either you can completely turn off the animation or just reduce it. Change the settings on your launcher and on your Android settings. The third tip is just update your phone. I'm only trying to roast people who don't update their phone even if they have an OTA update available. It just blows my mind that some people still believe that updating the Android version will make the phone slower. Guys, if you are one of them, it is such a lie and a myth. The only way you are gonna, gonna get a bad experience after the update is if the newer version has some bugs. But the chance of that happening is very low because these versions are tested by hundreds of users before it is pushed out to the public. So please update your phone. Speaking of newer Android version, if you want to run a newer Android version and you don't have the update available, then root your device and flash a custom ROM based on a newer Android version. It is so easy, just Google it if you don't know how to do it. So the next tip is kind of same as the first one that is don't force up applications and don't clear app cache. Force stopping application and clearing app cache is widely used for making the phone run smoothly but what most people don't know is it is actually doing the opposite. Let me explain. The older Android version has some serious memory management issues so that is why people on the forums and on the Android community told each other to clear up the memory manually. But nowadays Android is actually really good in memory management so if you force up all of the apps that you use frequently then when you are gonna open these apps again the phone has to load up all the essential files to the memory again which will consume more power and time which will make the phone slow. But if you're gonna force up an app that you know you will not be using that often, then it is a good thing. Another common thing that I see a lot of people using are widgets, especially those widgets on the notifications. I use super widgets a lot, but they don't consume not as much as memory and battery power as some other apps. So if you want your phone to run smoothly, reduce the number of widgets that you have on your home screen and on your notifications. Widgets are super cool, but don't overuse it. I'm pretty sure most of you watching this video has their phone's memory almost full. That might be the reason that is making your phone run slowly. I'm not gonna get into the technical side of it, but what I'm gonna say are some tips to avoid this situation. You can always delete useless files and you can also move your personal data such as photos and videos to an external drive or to a cloud server. Google Photos works really well, there is no limit, you can upload photos and videos as much as you want. For storing documents and other files, I use Mega. You will get 50 GB for free per account. And there is an app as well, so it will be super easy to just move files to Mega from your phone. So the last tip is use lightweight launchers like Nova or Pixel Launcher or any other similar ones. Those will keep your phone safe 
from lags. If none of this seem to make a difference on your phone, then factory set your phone or router device and flash a custom ROM with a custom kernel having some neat features. And your device will be as good as the new one. And I'm pretty sure some of you will ask me whether overclocking works or not. The short answer is no, but it can make a difference, a slight difference. Overclocking your CPU will drain your battery so fast, so overall it is not a good way to fix your slow Android phone. That's pretty much it guys, hope you guys liked this video, if you did give this video a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends and I'll talk to you guys in my next video, goodbye. Swear it's been 700 degrees in here since you came in I could swear that this room has been running out of air And now it's starting to spin